We're on. <laughs> we were on. He's coming back. He's back. Boom. We're on. Oh, oh. That was a good one. That was a good one. He's back. He's back. Oh. Oh. There we go. There we go. Good morning. Look at that sunrise. So it is opening day for rockfish. Super stoked to be back on the water since last season. A little more swell on the water than I'd like. I had to go to a secondary spot where I have to launch where it's a little bit safer, less waves. But uh, super excited today. Low expectations though. Normally early season, it's a little bit slow, but it's always fun to be out on the water and you usually don't get skunked. Usually something is out here. So hoping for some rockfish, maybe a lingcod. I'm lucky a halibut, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get back when we get to the fishing grounds. Here we go, first cast. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm just gonna drop straight down, let's see what's doing. Looks like we got a little drift, a little too much drift. Let's grab some kelp. Oh. Out of bite, out of bite. Getting bites, getting a nibble. Oh man. That was something. That was something. There we go. Oh, he let go. He let go. He's not committing to it. I'm gonna have to drift back over that spot. Let's go back. Reset. We'll see what my bait looks like. Bit the friggin' tail off bit the tail off damn it all right so i reset paddled back over to the same spot didn't want to waste too much time tying on another white swim bait so i just threw on a red a red one that i already had pre-tied or pre-set up so i'm just going to drift over the same spot hopefully it was a ling and it'll go for the red Hearing off course here. Alright, come on. Where are you at? Where are you at? There he is. There he is. There he is. We're on. We're on. We're on. Rockfish, I think. Big rockfish. Eh, alright size rockfish. There we go, one on the board. There we go, first one. Choked it too. On the red swim bait. Nice little rockfish. What do I do? Keep them, throw them back. Go for a little bit better size. Let's put this guy back. There's a, there's a fish that literally just followed my bait up. He was tapping at it, but he didn't, um, 
I thought I was getting bounced on the uh, kelp bed or on the piece of the kelp. There was a fish tapping at it. And I was, as I was reeling it up, I saw it go for it. Like shot out. What was that? A little piece of kelp. Oh, it did actually. Piece of kelp, but it bit. It bit the tail, yanked it. Fix that. Let's drop it right back down. So we know there's a fish here. It bit it, and then I saw it. Let's just see if it's uh hungry enough to want to come back for it. It was weird because he was like mid-column, probably just hanging out in the middle of the kelp. I guess that's always good to not just fish the bottom, use the bottom as a starting point and then work the whole water column back up. He might have got spooked. Maybe these, these fish are smarter than we think. Yep. giant piece of I am on it wasn't even fighting it wasn't even fighting it wasn't even fighting what a trip I thought I was like stuck on a piece of kelp or something ooh, 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 ooh. all right red swim bait does it again there we go A little update, I've been casting a whole bunch, working the inside, working the outside. It's been kind of slow the last little bit. It's been about an hour and a half since I've been out. Two fish landed, missed one, actually missed a couple. Um, it's been kind of slow this last little, little bit. Hoping the bite will turn on. I switched to the white swim bait. Might have to put the, what's the problem with casting out here? You just get snagged on kelp. This is this is the reality of, of fishing out here in the kelp. You get snagged. It's not always the best footage on a YouTube video. So I don't, <laughs> I don't put that in the videos just cause it's, I'm catching kelp but it happens a lot, more so than I want. That's part of it. came off it was a small fish oh man dang it dang it it's a small one I can tell but that was something it was something
lights. <clears throat> and we're on. We're on. Feels like. Uh, feels like a regular rockfish, I think. Uh, yeah, it's a small rockfish. It's like a china, I think. Good looking fish. Small one. But pretty. There we go. Fish number three. Just took a really long time. Man. Went through, oh no, went through his top lip. Good looking fish. Small guy. Oh, oh, sorry, buddy. Flip it back in real quick. Here we go. All right, we got someone that hit earlier. It felt small. So fun though. I'm getting hit right here. I thought it was kelp, but I'm getting little bites. <clears throat> there we go. We're on. We're on. Rockfish, I think. Oh, it's a good rockfish. Oh no, is it a ling? It's a ling cod. Got a ling. Got a ling. Small guy, but it's a ling cod. Just get the fish grips here. Got him on board. I bet he's probably um, 18 inches or so. That's my guess. He might be bigger, actually. Where's my tape? Where's my tape? He is about eight, mm, 19 inches. So not a keeper. So let's throw him back. Nineteen. Good looking fish though. Look at this tea. Got a little bit of blue in it. Big old mouth. All right, let's let him go. Thing is so bad. Not the fanciest release, but he's gone. <laughs> you check that one off the box. Woo. We're on. We are on. Ooh, that's a good fish too. That's a link cod, I think. That's a link cod, I think. Oh, maybe not. He just fought real good at first. What the heck? That's just a good rocky. Holy smokes. That's a good rock. Right there. Dude, he swam hard. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, dude, he just stuck me with this with his spikes right into my leg. That hurt. That is a good size rockfish there. Whew. Probably about 15 inches. Good looking fish. Good looking fish. 
Oh man, he stuck me though right in the leg. Oh well. So another update. Three and a half hours in, just about. So I think that's a total of four rockfish and a shortling. Definitely three of those rockfish were keeper size. That one, um, I think it was a China. I think that one was a little short. And definitely the ling was short. But not bad, I guess. Better, kind of better than I expected, but I was hoping for more. But uh, I think before I got to go, I think we've got about one more hour to keep at it. So we're going to keep grinding this deep outer edge and then work our way inside. Either I'm stuck on kelp or I got a bite. That was kelp. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> got my hopes up. My body tells me not to leave. <laughs> yeah, and then the coffee process takes a while. Getting nibbles right here. Getting nibbles. I think he's on it. Such a hook. He's on. A little frogfish. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good, good. He's fighting. He's fighting. He's fighting. Oh, double up, dude. What? I'm on too. <laughs> My buddy just hooked up too with the a rocky. This is another keeper size. Maybe I should have kept rockfish today. Could have had four. Beautiful. Look at that big old eye. Looking at the GoPro, just staring at you. Good looking fish. All right. Whew. Is that number five? Yeah. We're on. Oh. We were on. He's coming back. He's back. Boom. We're on. Oh. oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. He's back. He's back. Oh. Oh. There we go. There we go. There we go. Holy crap, he's huge another rockfish he's macking oh my goodness this thing's huge oh my swim bait's gone oh it's still in its mouth actually what this guy's huge oh my god that guy's a tank oh my god it's huge that is a tank oh my god I don't want to measure them. Let's see. Let's just see really quick. Don't flop around, bro. Let me do it just a quick little 15 inches. 15 incher. Dude, that's a hammer. Whew. <laughs> wow. Number six.
we're on right here. Either we're on or I'm on kelp. Oh, man, that was kelp. Oh, second time I did that. I feel like a dummy. Oh. All right, that's it. Time is up. Time to head back to the car. I'd say overall, that was a pretty fun session. A little slow at first. Had me concerned that it was gonna be a skunky day and then I grabbed a few, then it got slow again, but then it got kind of busy again. So it was just kind of a, a hit and miss day. Holy crap, this seal, I don't know if you guys can see that. Dude, this seal has like a giant lingcod in its mouth. Holy crap, I don't think you guys saw that, but oh, big old lingcod or a cabazon. I saw the big blue fin sticking out and the seal had it in his mouth. That was so rad. That dude's eating good. Anyways, fun session. Hope to get out on the sub soon again. It looks like we're getting some weather, so I don't think I'm gonna be out anytime too soon. But I think I'll be on the shore. Hopefully looking for some strike. Anyways, made it this far. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And I'll see you on the next one.